Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I started college about a year ago and it's been taking up almost all of my time, obviously. Um, but I decided to get back into it because, you know, ever since I left, there's still so many crappy uh, videos and nobody learns how to actually make a tutorial. So here I am talking to you, going to show you step by step, very easy, how to do this. How to get a PlayStation 1 emulator on your Windows PC. Um, I'm trying something new, I'm recording the whole screen, before I didn't do that, so if you can't see, try to make this full screen, best stuff, um, quality, and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. If not, you're fine. Okay, so, I'm going to give you this link in the description, EPSXE uh, 1.8.0, just click the newest one, this is from the official website, so click it, it'll take a second to download, then you got this, alright, so just drag it to your desktop, alright. And you're going to want to have ZZIP or WinRAR or something to extract this. Uh, you can download that. It's free and easy. Just right click it and extract to this folder right here. So then you got this. Okay. And you can get rid of that if you want. Okay. So open this up and you got all this stuff. Okay. So this is what you should have. All right. So exit out of that. And when you're, and when you're done with that, um, I'm going to give you this link also in the description. Uh, this is for the BIOS file, which you're going to need in order to uh, actually uh, run it. So scroll down to the bottom, or not to the bottom, but scroll down right here where it says PSX BIOS Pack 15 Images. You're going to want to click that and download it, and it'll take a couple minutes. And just to save us some time, this is what your end result is going to be. You know, just like in the cooking shows. I already have it. So anyway, uh, right click it, extract here, and you'll have this file right here. Open it up, and you're going to have all of these bins, all right? So just take them, copy them, cut them, whatever. Go to the original folder that we downloaded. Go into the BIOS folder. It's going to say Erase Me. You don't have to. Just paste, and then you got that. So you can exit out of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So now you have this right here. All right, so this next step um, is optional, or it, it's a precaution, but it might be optional, but let's do it anyway. You might need this file in order to get the thing to run. So I'll give you this link. Just scroll down here and click this right here. And it'll take a couple seconds to download. And it'll look like this, a file like that. So just extra, um, uh, yeah, extract a folder. Oh, so you'll get this. Okay. Open it up. This is the only file you want, the zlib1.dll. Just take that, copy that go into the original folder and just paste it right on the root just right there that's all you need to do with that and you get rid of that and you get rid of that okay alright now there's one more thing that you're gonna want and that's gonna be the actual game the ISO or the just the image of the game so I'm gonna give you this link and this is to all the PlayStation 1 games that you can download they got the top ones here you can click this you can go and search by the, for them alphabetically uh, just like that, um, Crash Bandicoot, just whatever. Make sure you actually own the game or you can get into some trouble um, along with the zero amount of people who actually got in trouble for this, but you know, I should probably tell you that. So go to download links and click it to download it. Um, it'll take, depending on how big the game is, anywhere from 10 to 10 minutes to half an hour. But uh, to save us some time, I already got it right here. I already own this game. Um, I think everybody's on this game at some point. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, anyway, right click it, extract here, and it'll take uh, a little bit to, to extract, but not very long. Um, the file that will come out will either be an ISO, an IMG, uh, a CUE, a BIN. It doesn't really matter because. Um, Whatever it comes out will be able to be run by uh, the simulator. So let's see. This is what we got. Uh, so just open up your emulator and take take the file that you just extracted and put it anywhere. Just anywhere that you'll remember. So I'm just going to drop it right on the root So because I remember that it's there. All right. So now I'm, I'm pretty much done. Now, now let me show you some features of it. So uh, click this, the .exe. Just click it. Double click it. And this is your actual emulator. Now you're going to want to do this on the first time. Go to config, 
click on BIOS, select. All right, so you see you're in this BIOS folder. Click the one that says SCPH1001. Just click that and OK. You only had to do that the first time, and we're done with that. Um, so if you have a gamepad, uh, if you don't, don't worry, because the, <clears throat> the keyboard will work. But if you have a gamepad, go here. And as you can see, you can just click here, press a button on your gamepad uh, that um, you want to actually be that button. And you can do it like that. So that's pretty cool. Click OK. Uh, now to actually run the game, and I hope that my recording device will actually work for this. But go to File, Run ISO. Uh, go to where you downloaded the game. I downloaded it right here. See? Click Open. Oh, it'll run any of these. You see any of those files it'll run. So click open. Works. That's my let's see if this works. It'll take a couple seconds. There we go. And as you see it's running. A Universal Interactive Studios production. It's running. And let me just exit. And then, if you want to run another game, you have to close it and then go back into it. Um, it saves your state. It saves into this uh, place that says memory cards. So you don't have to worry about your data being lost, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's that's all there is to it. So if you guys, um, well, if you like this, then rate it up. Uh, subscribe to me. Um, Send me some messages, send me some comments asking me for videos to do in the future, and uh, if I get a big enough demand for it, I'll do it. And um, I hope that I help some of your days. Uh, I hope that I help some of your weeks, and um, I hope you guys have fun. Goodbye.